Whoever said they don't make them like they used to must have wanted to preserve history and tradition. Both make Manitou's curb appeal. It's a great place. Molly Pranger grew up here. Yeah. She moved back too. It feels like home. Comfortable, yeah. Comfortable now for generations. My parents still live up the street. But it wasn't until Molly took a look in the rear view that she ever saw a problem. We got the email from the Spokane Library, actually. This neighborhood is more than 100 years old, so it's seen a lot of our nation's history, both for better. There's our house. And for worse. Having a, a racist covenant. It says that no person of any race other than white can live in the house unless they're a domestic servant. That's property she owns. Yeah, it really was just to be pointedly, you know, exclusionary. These racial covenants are common in Spokane. They've been unenforceable since the late 40s, but still, more than 7,000 property owners adopted identical language, letting racism hold on by a stem. I think our findings can, you know, set a path for other states that might want to do this as well. Tara Kelly maps out the properties for Eastern Washington University. Even we were a little bit blown away when we saw the results uh, visually like that. This is the heart of her work, directing EWU's racial covenant project. They've discovered hot spots in the valley, the South Hill, Shadle Park, and Airway Heights. Because this is history, we're not gonna we're not gonna whitewash it or erase it by any means. But they will strike it down. It's a remnant, a historical remnant. And they're making progress, one property owner at a time. Yeah, it was kind of a no-brainer to go try to fix it. I just can't stress, like, it was super easy, how, how easy they made it for us to show up and, and fill out the paperwork. The project hosts workshops to explain the covenants and how to overwrite the clause without destroying the paper trail. It's archived and treated for what it is, history long gone. The more you think about it, the more you think how insidious it is that we can just perpetuate it. For decades, Molly's home was racist down to its two by fours. Just repugnant. But luckily, her property deed isn't written like it used to. Andrew Bartline. It may be little and it may be simple, but- Nonstop local. It can matter.